Hello, odd people. So the insurance numbers are released, and the NEO delivered 6,800 vehicles, and, uh, and that is way below the 8,100 vehicles expected. And I, I already said in yesterday's video, if NEO actually delivers in the insurance numbers, if these insurance numbers are 8,100 vehicles, I would be shocked and I would make a negative video on the NEO. And I said it's, it's 6,000, 6,000 something, right? They came out to be 6,800, which makes sense. Again, you know, it is within, of course, a little bit on the high end, but it is within what we're, th what we're thinking. And the reason why um, I was actually thrilled to see that is because these numbers are adding up, okay? Now, you have to, let's, let's go back. The beginning of the month, until the end of the month, uh, we had 1,500 vehicles the first two days, followed by 3,500, followed by 2,400, 4,700. And so the remaining vehicles, insurance numbers to work out to the 21 to uh, um, June deliveries that NEO announced should be 8,100 vehicles. We were actually at 13,100 minus the last week. So 8,100 vehicles. The deliveries were only 6,800 vehicles. So what happened? What happened? These numbers are not adding up. A lot of people have different theories. One of the theories is that, well, this has nothing to do with tariffs in Europe. Another one is that, well, shipping vehicles to Europe doesn't mean that you actually have, um, you know, you, you sold the vehicles. You, you need customers, right? Okay. Uh, another one was like, wait two weeks. There's this delay of two weeks because there's difference between uh, um, delivery to the customer and insurance numbers, insurance deliveries, right? And, uh, and the difference also between production and this, and it's confusing. Yes, it is confusing, but I tell you what. Oh, another one is that these numbers are coming from Lee Auto, and Lee Auto is, uh, you know, is a you know contender to neo or whatever it doesn't matter they can come from lee auto they can come from byd they can come from anybody these numbers are numbers the, you know once you pick them up these are registered numbers they will not change so that's one thing it doesn't matter if they come from lee auto or someone else that's one the second thing is that um the um this two week delay in uh, in um, between the insurance numbers and the deliveries or whatever it's all nonsense it's all nonsense i asked for links and some people said well it's from this uh youtube channel or from that youtube channel i personally don't believe in any of this the thing is that you as a retail investor should believe in your own research you should not even believe me just do your own research and think about it so one of the ways to prove that is to see that um you know what let's look at lee auto as an example see if we do the math for neo we will find that we are missing we were supposed to have 8100 vehicles in the last week but we we only got 6800 so we we are missing 1300 vehicles that's a lot of vehicles right 1300 vehicles where did they go and don't tell me, well, it's rounding. No, 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 no. <laughs> this, we're talking a lot of vehicles here, right? 1,300 vehicles. Uh, where did they go? They went somewhere. So how do we prove that the insurance numbers are actually accurate? Like I said, in the past, I actually used to not believe these insurance numbers because when you add them up, they don't add up to the deliveries that NEO announces. But there is this European factor we don't know. There is something else we don't know. But so, so, so something is missing, right? And I think we are probably getting closer to understanding that missing part. So, uh, a, a way to have a better sense of, um, these numbers is actually to do Lee auto numbers because Lee auto numbers are not affected by Europe. If you do Lee auto numbers, and I did that. Um, same way, with the exception of the, um, the last week in May had, like, again, two days in, uh, in June, the first two days in June, but I use this uh, averaging for seven days. So anyways, the, uh, um, the numbers come out to be 47,000 
300 something. 47,000, 300 something. And Li Auto monthly deliveries were 47,700 something. So what is the difference? 300, 400 vehicles. Keep in mind that the, uh, uh, the numbers are rounded to the nearest 100. So you could have when, when you know, the numbers come out to be 10,500, uh, they could be 10,545, 49, right? They could be. And the same, same way, they could be 10,460. So they're rounded, right? So there is this rounding that can be, they could actually push you possibly closer to the real number. But anyways, missing 400 vehicles out of, 47,000. It's, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. Just do the math on Li Auto. So the difference between Li Auto and Neo is this European factor. And that's the one we need to, uh, uh, that, that is uh, the confusing part. Okay? That's, that's why uh, if the insurance numbers, if there is delay in insurance numbers, then we have to shift everything by two weeks. Think about it. You have to shift everything by two weeks to have these numbers work. Because if there's a two-week delay, then we have to go back by two weeks and, uh, and do some whatever, you know, math for that. And I tell you, it will be totally different than, this, than the numbers we see. The fact that Lee Otto's numbers are almost exact, you know, 47.7 versus 47.3. It's pretty, pretty close. Uh, says that there is no such delay of two weeks. So in my mind, I'm satisfied that the, this two week delay it doesn't even exist. That's one thing. The second thing uh, is that um, shipping vehicles to Europe doesn't mean that you actually sold vehicles. Of course, of course. I mean, we're talking about deliveries. We, deliveries means deliveries to the customer. So what happens if you are German, if you live in Europe, and you know that in, on July 4th that you have to pay additional 20%, what happens? You're going to buy before. It is very similar to this NT2 upgrade last year. Remember that? We had surge. Now, uh, you know, someone looked at the numbers and said, hey, there is no surge because they, I couldn't find these. I couldn't find any numbers, but there is, we're missing, they were missing... Um, uh, Germany and uh, and uh, some other countries. You have to look at the whole picture. You have to look at the whole picture, and we have to wait for the official numbers to see. It is an assessment, anyways. It is an assessment, and it makes sense. Okay, and it's so important. Some people think these numbers don't mean anything, and uh, so let's just wait for it. no. These numbers are real numbers. These numbers are official numbers. They are locked on in uh, uh, in the system. So they mean something. We need to understand them as retail investors, what they mean. It is really important. Now I'm finding it is important to actually understand them. And we're learning so many things with, uh, with such uh, uh, in the, the, this type of situation. So anyways, I don't want to take this, you know, the good news and turn it into bad news or anything like that. I think every opportunity like this is a learning uh, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, um, learning curve or learning uh, time, right? This is how we learn: is to figure out why numbers are not, and you sip through it. Okay, so that's what it is. Uh, things are looking awesome to Neo. I mean, remember all of these. These do not include uh, the sub brand. So Neo is doing wonderful without the sub the Envo or or the Firefly or whatever. Some people requested that I do Firefly. Of course, it's on my list. I actually have a list of videos to make and uh, that's on my list. Also on my list is to uh, discuss Tesla. Tesla, guys, you are missing out on Tesla. I told you, I've, I've been telling you from, you know, from a few months now, Tesla is a different story. I'm going to make another special case for Tesla. All right. And uh, so that's what it is. Um, I think that uh, these numbers, I'm actually satisfied because of the fact that the numbers are lower than 8,100, which they're supposed to be. 
I'm also satisfied because of the fact that insurance numbers are actually adding up properly, very, very close to the real numbers if you use Li Auto. And that NEO is a special case because of the, this European factor. And that's the part that we have to understand. Okay? Anyways, it's my thoughts. Never financial advice. Thanks. Bye-bye.